Today we are replacing a uh, failed HVAC blower control module on a 2005 Impala. Before we get in there and mess with stuff, we're going to go and pull the fuse for the BCM. Here on the fuse panel we see the top fuse box has the BCM fuse. This 30 amp fuse right here. So I'm going to pull it out to make sure it doesn't turn on whenever we're working on it. The reason we're pulling it out here is because uh, even with the key off, BCM will make the fan go full blast. Set this to the side. We'll put it back in when we're done. The BCM and the fan blower, the whole thing, is under this panel here, the passenger side under the glove box. To release the panel, you press in the tab on either side here, and it'll let go. Next, if you twist and release, the uh, footlight, we can just get that panel out of the way until we're all done. The BCM is under here. You can see it's hanging down because I've already got it loose. You can get in there. If you pull the wire harness free, you can get it out of there. It comes down from right there hide into the left of the motor. To get it out of here, you're going to have to remove the harness from both the module and for the seizure to work, I unplug the motor from the uh, black and purple that continues from control module. The tabs on both these harnesses need to be released so you can get the plug out of there just use a screwdriver to make it let go. So this is the module that was in there. When the module was in there, the tab was towards the passenger. Went up in there like this. So I wanted to show you this. It goes up in there, and this is the, the way that it was mounted up in there. And it, and it broke off the, the plastic that, that goes on the, the circle, the edge of the tab. But you can see how this, the uh, fins go up in that hole there. I want to show you the left hand side if you're looking at it. Those tabs, those tabs will fit in the ears of the new module. And then we'll just use a screw I found on the other side to hold it up in there. Here's a comparison of the old and the new blow control module. Fairly similar, using a lot of GM vehicles from uh, 2001, 2008. Footprint's the same. The ears have different holes, but it's gonna work. Here's a comparison 
of the old and new mounting holes on the tabs. That tab, that's what was mounted there before. We're not going to be able to use that. But the other one, we, we will be able, this one here, we'll just do it on the new one. We'll be able to have a screw hold that up in there. This is the left hand side, see it will be held in place, we won't need to do a screw. Here I have a small ratchet to drive the screw in on the right hand side. We're just going to tighten it just enough to hold it in place, and then that's it. plugged in but before I put that panel in there I'm gonna go see if this thing works put the fuse back in Alright, let's turn it on and see if we can control that blower fan again. Windshield heat when we're driving again. That's what I'm looking for. All fixed. Thanks for watching K Train Garage.